In this video we're going to be looking at the Looking Glass Challenge from Hack the Box, which is a web challenge in the easy category, and the description says we've built the most secure networking tool in the market, come and check it out. So if we spawn our instance here and copy the address, we can see that we have a web page here where without even reading the description we can see that we have some commands that we can run. We have a ping, we have a trace route, both just set to server1 and then we can input an IP address to test. So let's first of all just view the source and just make sure that there's no flags lying around or links that we've missed here. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting there. So let's go ahead and run the test. And if we go and have a look in Burp Suite here to see what we have. Uh, let's make sure we're watching the traffic. Okay, um, let's run that again now that we are watching the traffic. And you can see here we have this post request, it's sending off test is equal to ping. So this is just essentially sending off a form here where test is equal to ping, IP address is equal to the IP that was set there, and then submit, submit is equal to test. And then that comes back with our response. Our response is here with the ping statistics, 100% packet loss. So essentially this is a, a command injection vulnerability. This ping command is running on the backend server and we're able to modify the parameters which are sent. So let's send this to the, the repeater. One other thing we can do here, you can see we're having some um, traffic coming from Hack the Box and stuff. Let's go to our target. Oops, clicking everything by accident. Go to our target and let's add this to the scope. And now if we go into our proxy, HTTP history, and then just filter, we only want to show in scope items, and that'll only show this now. And let's go back to our repeater. So, oh, sorry, we've not, we've not added this to the repeater yet. So we want to send this to the repeater, and that'll just allow us to keep replaying the same request and looking to see what responses we get back. Um, so to give you an idea what's happening here, ping is being run with this parameter. Let's say if we run now on our local system, ping-c4-local-host, it's going to run four pings and then it's going to come back, which is what you kind of what you have here. It's exactly what you have here, except we, we got responses they didn't um, on this command. Whereas if we were to run that and now append another command, so we end that statement and then say ls... Um, dot dot slash because I know there's nothing in this directory. It runs through the pings and then once it's finished doing the pings it executes this next command in the statement which was to list this directory. So we should be able to do something similar here. If we say ping this IP address and let's actually see if we can just change that. It might speed it up a bit if it's only doing the local host. Ping this IP address and then list the files that are in the directory. Let's hit send and you, it looks like that did come back a little bit quicker. We have our pings and the pings were successful this time rather than um, was getting zero packets received. And then you have index.php. So this, we can have a look at the index.php code now by, we know that that file's there, so let's cat out index.php. And if we run that again and go and have a look down here, now we actually have our PHP code. And you can see here, get user IP, it tries to get our IP address. It runs, if it's the ping, it's going to run pings c4, like, like what I ran in the command line here. And the trace route, if you run trace route, it's going to run trace route with that IP address. So, I don't see any flags there. You might have expected to see a flag just sitting around for us there. So let's see what else is on the operating system. If we ls dot dot slash and now we have a lot more files showing and one of the files is called flag so let's copy that and now let's say let's cut out dot dot slash flag hit send And here you can see we have our flag. So we've successfully injected the command and returned the flag. 
Uh, hope you've enjoyed this challenge. Any questions or comments, leave them down below.